My name is Miranda Smith. I am currently 20 years old. I am a junior at Loris College, which is a small school in Dubuque, Iowa. Um, I was born and raised here in Denver, Colorado with my, both my parents and my older brother, Christopher. Um, well, I became aware of Divine Mercy through my mom. Um, in November of 2013, um, we we found out that my mom had a very aggressive brain tumor called glioblastoma. Um, that's also the same kind that Brittany Maynard had. So she began treatments right away for that, had surgery, chemotherapy, radiation. My mom is a very, very strong woman, so she took it all full force. And we actually saw a major, major improvement in her. And for a while, we're like, okay, we're getting back to normal. This is good. And um, unfortunately, July of 2014, that next summer, while we were on vacation actually, my mom had a seizure um, and after going to a few hospitals, we found out that her tumor was back and more aggressive than it had been before and that we were kind of out of treatment options for the most part. So that was probably a very hard moment for me, definitely that turning point when I thought everything was going okay and then it wasn't all of a sudden. At this point is when her health really started to deteriorate. She started to lose her speaking abilities and her motor abilities. Um, it was at this time that we realized that we needed more help taking care of her, that our family just, we weren't equipped to really provide for her. And that's when we started researching different hospice care companies um, and fairly quickly found Divine Mercy Supportive Care. Um, and we knew fairly quickly that that's the one we wanted to go with. We liked having a Catholic background. That was something that was very important to our family. And we were absolutely blown out of the water by them. Our nurse was brilliant. We loved her so much. Um, and they did more than just take care of my mom. They took care of our family too. Um, they really helped us feel at peace with the fact that she was, she was slowly dying. but. Um, they really helped us through that and even after she passed away um, on September 28th, 2014, when she finally passed in her sleep, they were right there with us, um, helping us through still um, and making sure that we were really coming to terms with this and realizing that um, we did everything we could and that this must have been God's will. For me, um, when her health started to go worse, I was one of the only people taking care of her and it, it was really difficult for me um, seeing my mother like that and taking care of her in that way. So um, for me, going to school was a really easy decision. I say easy, it wasn't, um, but it was definitely the right decision for me to be with my routine. And Divine Mercy definitely gave me the peace to do that. I don't think I would have been able to sit in a classroom not feeling like she was taken care of. And Divine Mercy gave me that, that confidence that my mom was in a loving environment where um, not only were, was she being taken care of, but my family wasn't scrambling around trying to figure out what to do, that she was in a safe environment. And I still came and visited her on the weekends and saw her then, but it was really very helpful to me and a giant blessing that I, I didn't really realize then how much I needed Divine Mercy to be there taking care of my mom when I wasn't strong enough to do so. There has been this quote that came to our family when we were really struggling going through this hard time. It's by St. Francis de Sales and it goes, Do not become upset when difficulty comes your way. Laugh in its face and know you are in the hands of God. Um, that's something that really, it describes our family a lot too. We were able to see the joys as small as they were during this hard time. And I think the biggest thing is accepting that even though you don't understand it, this is fitting in God's plan somehow. And that if you rely on him, he will take care of you. And he will give you so many joys and so many blessings in the midst of this sadness that you're going through.